today i am going to discuss the some of the relevant questions and the pattern of the subject matter with respect to kcet here i have taken and selected the topic called solids as we know the solids are mainly categorized in two types crystalline and amorphous the major part of this chapter deals with the crystalline solids which have the compact and the systematic arrangement of particles their study is undertaken with the help of the unit cells and also the crystal lattices further the arrangement of the particles is taken up with the help of the close packed structures and in these close packed structures we may have the perfect and the imperfect crystalline solids based upon their nature and based upon their properties we have some of the very important practical applications like the conductors semiconductors and the magnets which we always use in our day to day need and in our everyday life here we go with some of the relevant questions which can be seen in the competitive examinations as the multiple choice questions it doesn't mean that whatever the questions we discuss here they will be the ones which appear in the examinations even if we prepare for thousands of questions the examination carries the question paper with a question altogether different from this it is only an attempt as to how these questions can be approached and how they can be interpreted to the best of our ability we shall make our sincere attempt in this regard here we go with the first question among solids the lowest melting point is exhibited by the four options given are covalent molecular ionic and amorphous basically we say the solids have the high melting points but in the crystalline category we have four types like molecular crystalline solids ionic crystalline solids covalent crystalline solids and the metallic crystalline solids them the molecular crystalline solids have the lowest melting point because of the weak van der waals forces while other three are with the fairly strong attractive forces carry the high melting points and about the amorphous solids they do have the high melting points therefore our cor correct option is supposed to be the molecular crystalline solids that is b in the second which of the following shows good electrical conduction
here we turn on to the crystalline solids again the four types but remember one thing among the four types only one is having the electrical conduction and that is the metallic type because of the free movement of electrons while other three they don't have the free movement of electrons nor they have the free movement of ions therefore sometimes we may find little bit confusion like as to pick up the pure common salt or a gold ring pure common salt is a solid the particles are held in the fixed position and the ions are unable to move and electrical conduction cannot be observed while in the gold ring the metallic solid electrical conduction is observed then sand and ice are the covalent and the molecular crystalline solids they also don't possess thereby our option comes with the gold ring that is c in the next question one more property that we see in the crystalline solids is anisotropy a very peculiar and characteristic of the crystalline substances in this some of the physical properties not all like the refractive index when measured in a different directions the value of this property will be different according to the directions we select that is due to the systematic arrangement of the particles in crystalline solid and here the question goes as anisotropy is observed in case of the four options plastic glass rubber and common salt immediately we focus upon the common salt because there is a crystalline substance and for the crystalline substance anisotropy is the characteristic while the first three belong to the amorphous category wherein the glass requires a special attention because it is considered as the super cooled solid and super cooled liquid and it is the amorphous therefore as the crystalline substances we pick up common salt for this question as correct option <laughs> 